Hi everyone, Logan here, and today I'm going to be talking about AMD's new graphics API, Mantle. Alright, just uh, some quick information on the background footage. What you're watching is uh, Batman Arkham Origins. Uh, I'm just kind of messing around, and hopefully this doesn't give any spoilers away. I tried to cut it as best as I could so there weren't any spoilers. Alright, now some of you may be asking, what is Mantle? Mantle is a groundbreaking graphics API for AMD graphics card holders that promises to transform the world of game development to help bring better, faster games to the PC. That's quoted exactly from AMD. So basically, what this means is better and faster games, so higher FPS for smoother gameplay. Here's a quick list of AMD's claimed advantages for Mantle. AMD claims that Mantle can generate up to 9 times more draw cells per second than comparable APIs by reducing CPU overhead. More fine control over the hardware. All hardware capabilities are exposed through the API. New rendering techniques possible. Direct GPU memory access. Multi-threaded parallel CPU rendering support for at least 8 cores. No game developer reliance on existing AMD driver support release schedules. Potentially no or fewer bugs on release. Due to bypassing of error-prone and inefficient abstraction, common technical difficulties like FPS drops, micro-stuttering, and texture corruption can be significantly less frequent or non-existent. Performance increase over higher level APIs such as Direct3D and OpenGL. Alright, now what are some essentials for Mantle? Some things you need to be able to run Mantle is a driver with the AMD Catalyst software suite that allows applications to speak directly to the graphics core next architecture. Now that may sound very complicated, but it's basically just the software that controls your graphics card. Um, another essential is the graphics core next GPU, like an AMD Radeon R9 series, so an R9 290, the R9 290X, an R7 series, or an HD 7000 series graphics card. The third essential is an application or game engine written to use the Mantle SD. Now one of these that AMD's already confirmed will run Mantle is Battlefield 4. What is the uses of Mantle? During the GPU presentation, an announcement was made that Frostbite 3, which is a game engine, would have support for Mantle. The first game running on Frostbite 3 to benefit from Mantle will be Battlefield 4, which will get a patch in January of 2014, which was postponed by a week by the end of December 2013 due to problems with the game at launch that will activate the Mantle support. Also, the game now shown as Batman Arkham Origins is said to benefit from Mantle as well. Alright, so what does this all mean once again? Basically, all this technical stuff, what it will result in is higher FPS for AMD card holders. So once this comes out in January, higher you'll get higher FPS in Mantle supported games, which they already confirmed Battlefield 4, as I said earlier, and Arkham Origins is supposed to uh, support Mantle. So basically, once this graphics API comes out and you have an R9 290 or R700 series or 7000 series and then you will have you will have mantle and you'll get higher fps in these games now when is mantle supposed to come out amd's goal was to release mantle capability for the dice game battlefield 4 in december but this got delayed for development reasons now amd is saying that they're going to push out mantle for battlefield for january of this year so it should be out very soon for you amd card holders Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I should start coming out with some more videos. I know I've barely posted on this channel because it's fairly new, but hopefully within this new year I'll get a uh, lot more videos out, a lot more content. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys uh, next time.